According to the group Environmental Defense, North Carolina is now the second biggest pork producing state in the country with about 2,500 hog farms. There are about 2 million more hogs than people in North Carolina, and the waste from all these hogs can find its way into our streams and rivers. In the first of a two part series on water quality, Dr. Tom Linden tells us about the impact of hog waste on one North Carolina river. It looks like a small creek, but these are the headwaters of a unique North Carolina river, the New River. It's the one river in the state that begins and ends in the same county, Onslow County in eastern North Carolina. Near its mouth in Jacksonville, the New River is wide and full of birds, fish, and other wildlife. I was a commercial fisherman for many, many years, uh, have been in love with the river forever. I've had a boat ever since I can remember. It's easy to see why Madison loves the river, but according to some environmentalists, it's a river under siege. The Division of Water Quality says Onslow County has 59 hog operations with a total of 181,000 hogs. And all those hogs produce a lot of waste that sits in holding ponds called lagoons. Their bacteria break down some of the solid waste before the remaining liquid is sprayed onto nearby fields as fertilizer. But environmentalists say some of that waste, no one knows exactly how much ends up in the river. We are having a terrible problem with this industry operating lagoons and spray fields. I mean, they abuse the system. They, it, it, I mean, essentially, it's a disaster. The Division of Water Quality, or DWQ, says the biggest disaster outside of Hurricane Floyd occurred in June 1995. Upstream from the Onslow County town of Richlands, a lagoon owned by Ocean View Farms ruptured, releasing about 25 million gallons of hog waste into the New River. That devastated animals and aquatic insects. DWQ says the rupture occurred because the lagoon had too much wastewater, which then overflowed, blowing out the dike. According to environmental advocates like Rick Dove, the lagoon spray field system cannot safely dispose of the huge amount of waste that factory farms generate. Environmental critics say the problem isn't only in Onslow County, but also in other parts of the state. According to the advocacy group Environmental Defense, North Carolina in 1987 had about 2.5 million hogs. In the ensuing 15 years, that number has more than quadrupled, say water quality experts. And with each hog producing about two tons of waste per year, that's a huge disposal problem. In the summer of 2000, the state was so concerned about the hog sewage problem that it negotiated a settlement with two of the state's largest pork producers. The companies forked over $17.5 million, the money to be used to identify a safer way to dispose of waste from North Carolina's hog farm factory. But some, like Onslow County hog farmer Marion Howard, say the current system works just fine. Now, I noticed that the lagoon is kind of a red clay color. What does that indicate? That indicates that the lagoon is working like it should. When you see that color, you know it's doing what it's supposed to. That clay-colored pond in the center is Howard's Hog Lagoon. Just to the left is a thin band of blue. That's the new river. And those green fields? That's where Howard operates his traditional spray field system. Any system that you might use is no better than the management of it. You could have the most sophisticated, most expensive treatment system available to man, and if it's not managed correctly, it won't work right. But some environmental advocates, like Tom Madison, say the problem isn't just farmers doing the wrong thing. The problem is with the factory farm itself. They must pollute in order to survive. They cannot do what they're doing to raise these animals in concentration like they're doing without breaking the law. That just simple can't, can't be done because of the simple fact that their mode of operation is out of sync with the environmental laws and rules of this nation. They don't have facts to back up what they're saying. Uh, and and it, to start with, if I felt like I was causing a problem to water quality, I would not want to be in this industry.
To counter environmental concerns, North Carolina state researchers are using money the state obtained in its settlement with pork producers to identify new waste disposal technologies. But experts say there's at least one big drawback to implementing new technology. The key question is going to be the cost. We are mandated to also determine economic feasibility per this agreement. And, and that is the component that, quite frankly, makes me nervous. The machine's dropping uh, solid. Brandon Howard, son of Onslow County farmer Marion Howard, is implementing one of these new higher cost methods called constructed wetlands at his hog operation near Richland. This system, so far we haven't run across any major problems. It's actually been a great working system. The constructed wetland system simulates a natural wetland. Hog waste is pumped to a machine which separates solids, spread later as fertilizer, from liquid. The fluid waste then flows through a pipe into a series of ponds where vegetation, like cattails, removes excess nitrogen and phosphorus. But Brandon Howard says one of the drawbacks with this system is its price. A conventional lagoon system costs $60,000, while Howard's constructed wetlands cost $400,000. This system is very expensive, and there's not too many farmers that I could tell you right off the top of my head that could afford something like this. Officials at the North Carolina Division of Water Quality, which monitors hog farm waste disposal, say several new technologies like Brandon Howard's system show promise, but still are under examination. There's no silver bullet, so to speak, or, or magic wand to say, hey, this is, this is a cure-all here. It's going to take some time. And... Uh, resources and such. Waste management experts say Brandon Howard's constructed wetland system may not be the only solution, and Howard himself was able to build it only after receiving substantial grants. But some environmental advocates like Rick Dove at the Waterkeeper Alliance say the only solution on the hog waste problem is a municipal-style waste management treatment system.